In this video I will show you how to make an animated tail using a skin mesh deformed bones and whatever inside Roblox Studio. Well, we are going to make the tail in Blender. I will leave you a file in the description for you to work. In this file you will see two dummies. Uh, one big dummy that is to work to create your tail or your whatever you want to create. And the other one is a very small dummy that is the real size dummy, okay? So, well, uh, I will leave this uh, file in the description. Remember, just to, when you are in this file, if you want to focus the camera on it, just press the point button in the numeric path, okay? Well, that's basically the idea, just to work with this file. So, we are going to use the big one to model or to create the object and the other one, the Roblox size dummy, just to scale everything in order to avoid huge, huge meshes in Roblox Studio. Okay, basically, that's the idea. Well, let's start with this. Uh, to create a tail, I use a very simple method. I added a single bird. When I have a single bird, I added a modifier first, a surface, a subdivision surface modifier first. Then I added a skin modifier. And finally, I added another Subdiv uh, subdivision surface then inside edit mode in vertex mode I just press E to extrude and then I just shape the uh, the form of my oh, I shape my tail basically I added like three bones basically that's the idea to scale I use control A and that's it uh, I selected the vertex. Uh, you cannot see the vertex, but you can press Z or the edge rate mode, and that's the idea. After that, you have a very nice option uh, using this skin modifier. You can create a, a, um, an armature, and you don't have to do the weight painting and anything, okay? It will be like automatic. It's really fast. Just create armature here. You, you can check here in the modifier section. Uh, I created the armature and then I select the first bone, the most important one, that is the root, and I mark it as a root using the X-ray mode. Then it's ready to be animated because we have now an skeleton over there. Okay, so don't forget to add or to set the root, and then it's moving properly, very nicely. I don't have to do anything else to uh, for the mesh. Now you can export this and animate it in Roblox Studio, but I suggest you animate in Blender. So basically I'm going to create very simple animation using Blender. So you can check some tutorials about this. Uh, I guess I won't explain how to make an animation in Blender. You can check my other tutorials to know more about this. So basically it's 60 frames. Very simple thing. And then when we finish the animation we are ready to export the model. So, to Roblox Studio. For that, we need to resize this. Remember that I told you that we have a very small dummy, so you can click this and hide your big dummy. You can press H or here in the menu, just look for Show Hide Options in the Object uh, tab or menu and just Hide Selected. Then you just select your bone and your tail and then you are going to press S to scale. So, S. And then we are going to make it the size of the dummy that we have over there. More or less try to scale it, uh, use the mouse wheel just to uh, change the camera and that's it. More or less, more or less, more or less. So, and then I have the size, I, the animation is playing properly. So now it's time to export this tail, this animated tail. So we select export FBX. This is the option that you have to do in order to uh, work this uh, properly. You select a folder for you. Uh, in this case, I just created a new folder and I added this for the animated tail. Then just copy the options that I use here from the FBX. Uh, first, selected objects. Make sure you selected the bones and the tail. Then everything leave it like that, the scale, you don't need to modify the scale, just uh, here in uh, Bake Animation, Simplify Zero and uh, Uncheck NLA and All Actions. 
then it's ready, open Roblox Studio, then you select here in the avatar important, select the egg uh, option or the custom avatar and then you just look for your uh, beautiful tail. Ready, the tail is over there, it looks okay, the size looks okay, no problem. I like that, like that, you just place it inside, uh, I mean, uh, in the proper place. Then we are going to import the animation. The animation, it was exported together with the model. So you just need to open the animator, uh, animation editor, and then we are going to click on the tail. And then we are going to see that we have the bones appearing here. We are just going to click here on the three points. Import from the animation FBX. Then select the same file you use for the mesh. And that's it. Very important step, don't scale your tail in Roblox Studio. If you want to change the scale, change it in Blender and export it again. That's it, check the animation, it's playing properly, nicely, smoothly, whatever, it's ready. Now, the next step is pretty simple. You need to put your tail inside your uh, character or the model you have. In this case, I'm going to use it in the starter character. So, uh, ah, don't forget to export your animation, the animation of your tail. I will copy the ID. This is very, very important step. And you need to check the previous video that I made, okay? In the script that we did in the previous uh, script, uh, video, I added some animation controllers for the tail and some animation tracks and whatever. Okay, basically I just duplicated everything in the script. Now, another thing that it's important, you need to weld the main part of your model, of your tail, to the lower torso. So, I am using Easy Weld. So, again, check my previous tutorial about the animated wings if you want more, uh, you want more details. But basically, that is the idea. I just joined in place, so that's the thing. Now, the tail was playing nicely inside my model, but it was not playing in the in the wings because I made a mistake in my uh, script, okay? So, but after I finish my script or fit my script, both were working correctly. Remember, you need two animation controllers, one for each uh, part, one for the wings, for example, in this case, and one for the tail, and you check, we have two parts moving, okay? Two animated accessories using these three, uh, the skin mesh deformed from Roblox, and it looks pretty cool. You can make it for hairs, for tails, for many, many things. If you want to see me with more examples about animated accessories in Roblox using the skin mesh option, please let me know. My name is Asa. I will see you next time.